So apparently yesterday was International Men's Day. I don't really know what that means. Willie's really sleeping through it. And I read a lot of posts and tweets about how we need to stop promoting masculinity in boys because it leads to what we are now seeing in mass-scale sexual harassment and assault claims. So in short, according to the online opinionators, promoting masculinity is the same as creating and promoting a culture of rape. So let's talk about that for a minute. See, the media's definition of masculinity seems to be some shallow caricature of six-pack abs, sports cars, big bank accounts, tailored clothing, and beautiful women hanging all over us. It's the image of having all the answers and being in control and having all the power. It's the desire to always be an alpha dog that's plagued us since the beginning of time. And it's been shaped in us culturally more and more from the influences we see from everything from Sports Illustrated to Playboy magazine, music to movies. And so to many men, masculinity is about how many women you can take to bed, dominate, or object in an ongoing pursuit of conquest. But listen, that's not masculinity. Masculinity is not about what you can have and possess or even pursue. That's the adolescent behavior of thinking you deserve to have everything you see. And listen, to some degree, we've all done it. So stop looking at the things you desire as the, that dirty magazine, you know, the one you hid out in the woods when you were 13 years old and all you had to do was go out there and get it and use it and use it you did. Look, remaining in an adolescent mindset makes us think we're just supposed to use use things for the rest of our lives. So thanks a lot, testosterone. Hey, look, use correctly. <laughs> it's a good thing. Testosterone actually helps us protect, provide, and procreate, and none of those things are evil. But listen closely, masculinity is not an outward expression. Now, some of us think that our looks, our accomplishments, and our possessions should guarantee us some form of sexual attention. And then if we don't get it, we find ways to go out and take it. See, the majority of men don't want to admit it, but unfortunately, a lot of us tend to be scared little boys that are afraid somebody's going to come pull back the curtain and expose our feeble, frail insecurities. And therefore, we are constantly striving to prop ourselves up with material things instead of emotional strength. See, we've gotten so fragile that we got to have soap for men, shampoo for men, sunscreen for men. There are candles, vitamins, throat lozenges, fabric softs, or lip balms, loofahs, and wet wipes marketed just for men. I even recently saw a book of broetry. You can read it while drinking your mangria. Give me a break. Go to your store, dude, and buy your wife's tampons. Hold your head high. Be a man. Nobody in the Walmart thinks you're the one using them, okay? Look, there are so many things that we just don't know. We don't know. We don't always know the right direction to go, but there's no way we're going to stop and ask for direction. If that applies to our driving, how much more does it apply to our everyday lives? Look, wolves travel in packs. Horses travel in herds. Birds come in flocks. Men should travel in tribes. But make sure you're running with the right tribe. Look around you. Is every man you know insecure and looking for things and conquest to fulfill his life? That's not masculinity. That's weakness. Running with that pack will lead you to believe it's okay to disrespect others and treat them like things rather than people. Bullying, posing, harassing, assaulting, addictions, obsessing, challenging, chasing validation from unhealthy sources. Stop it. Those things don't make you an alpha, they make you an ass. And we've all been there. Look, we've all been there. The beauty is you don't have to stay that way. You can get out of the cycle and move past adolescence. Don't pretend to be a man. Go out and actually be a man. And I don't mean the old mantra of boys will be boys and men will be men. We're not, we're not going to tolerate those excuses anymore. Not is a common bond amongst brothers. Masculinity is something that works against its own temptations and strives for faithfulness, even in light of our many mistakes and acts of rebellion. It picks itself up, it dusts itself off, it moves forward asking for help along the way. Masculinity is emotional, it is honorable, it is gritty, it is courageous, and it will most likely go unrecognized in your lifetime, but you will be remembered for it when you're gone. Now, I'm not saying we need to be perfect because we won't be. We're still stupid men, but oftentimes recognizing our stupidity is the first step to getting our lives back on track. Throughout human history, there's only been one perfect man, and perhaps it's time for all of us fallen men to start asking him for some assistance in the way we live our lives. Seeing as how that's the ultimate example of masculinity, maybe we can find our guidance with him. Hey, look, I'm done talking. Be sure to subscribe to the Chad Prather Show podcast, wherever podcasts are offered. Go ahead. Be a real man. Do it. I love you. God bless. Here's Facebook post.